So we will continue our discussion on ways people minimize sin or ways we minimize our sins. So all of us are going to be able to do it and we are going to be able to do it. So the first one is defending. No, we are going to be able to do it. So we looked at that and then last Sunday we looked at another one, it's called downplaying. Gauravam Kuracha Kanikya, downplaying. And then we looked at uh, different things from there. Now the third one I want to talk about today is actually, it's called legitimizing sin. Legitimizing sin. Alangal pavatna neyama sathuda kodukkuga. Okay? When you say legitimizing sin, the reason is this. Uh, it can be tempting to do something bad because you believe that something good will come of it. Abendho oru tetta pavan jayanaita നമ്മൾ ചിന്തിക്കുക ഒരു ടെംപ്റ്റേഷൻ നമുക്ക് ഉണ്ടാകുക യു 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 ടെംപ്റ്റ് ടു ഡു സംതിങ് റോങ് ഓക്കെ ബിക്കോസ് യു ബിലീവ് സംതിങ് ഗുഡ് വിൽ കം ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇവൻച്വലി ഇതിനകത്ത് നിന്ന് എന്തെങ്കിലും പ്രയോജനം നമുക്ക് ഉണ്ടാകും സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് എ റീസൺ ദിസ് ഇസ് വെരി സീരിയസ് വൺ Don't ever think that God will approve a sin because, just because it may have positive outcome eventually. If you have a good idea, 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 and don't think that God will approve that. Praise God. So that is called legitimizing sin. It's a very tricky, very tempting situation. Now, doing wrong thing for the right reason is still a sin. Trying to legitimize sin can turn into a very bad habit. Romans chapter 6, Apostle Paul says, speaks of something very similar reminding us of freedom from sin and warning us not voluntarily submit to it again so paavathil ninnu namakku endu undai mojanam undai aa swadantriyam anubhavichu aalukal pinneyum aa thettilekku poganulla temptation kooduthundu so adha petti paulus warn cheyyunnu Okay, Romans chapter 6, verse 1. Malayalati vayikinnada, Agayal, Nam endu parayandu, Kruba vedikandudina, Pabam chaydu undi irikki enno, Oori nalum aridu, Pabam sammandham ai, Marichavarai nam inni adil, Jeevikinnada, Yengane. So, What do we do? Keep on sinning so God can keep on forgiving? I should hope not. If we have left the country where sin is sovereign, how can we still live in our old house there? Or didn't you realize we packed up and left there for good? That is what happened. happened in baptism so just think about this ivda parayana agel endu parayandu kruba verigendadina so just imagine this somebody sin let's say 10 kilograms of sin okay and the other side god also pours in 10 kilograms of maybe 11 kilograms of grace just give an idea got shown grace and you okay that's nice so let me do a 
So you do a 50 kilograms sin and God has to put 51 kilograms of grace. What is happening here? Grace is increasing. God is showing me great grace this time. So you probably can't buy anger to that yambu. That's why the kalam parne holu. I only just lied, and God has shown grace and mercy. Now I steal something, so God has to little more grace. So Pastor Paul is really telling that. So you have to do more sin so that grace will. No, what he kiddum? Parila. See, simply using that analogy, tell the people. That should not be, we should never legitimize sin. Outcome no kyecha processes in Fulakanamagavatiala. You cannot use any means to a good end. You have to always use good means for a good end. You cannot employ sin. So, Pabam, say the Pabatan of Varigalil Namakanga to Boganaita, Kadigela. You know, this is, this is the work of Satan. Namlagananda, the Second Corinthians 11, verse 14, you know, why can under Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Satan danum velicha dudande veshandari kinuvalo. But Namlagananda, are you Come on. I, I still remember uh, in my little village I grew up. The way that we go to school, it's like one, one and a half miles to go to school. So we take a particular route to go. Upon the Varike, because man, you have no idea. You have no idea as a kid, and your faith is not very strong. And she stands in odd places. I'm just telling you, I was terrified as a kid. You know, otherwise, cool it won't be here. Everybody, not just me alone. Because she will stand there, she will say things, she will throw stones at her. She's mentally crazy. She's crazy. But she is also too much into singing, praising God, a lama. So they, I think they're Orthodox people. But she, she is more into revival Orthodox person. But she is more into revival Orthodox person. But she is more into revival Orthodox person. People in our neighborhood say, that's why when you say about Velichadudan, Velichadudan, Inana Yambarja Velichadudan, Nalas Hanadan. Angel of light is pretty good, right? But it says that Satan disguises himself as the angel of light. Abam Pishaja the name they don't require. What is his plan? He wants to destroy God's people. He wants to deceive us. So when you look at, what do you see? Angel of light. I attracted our angel of light. But you don't understand. Inside the angel of light, who is there? Chennai, Kunyadinde. Yeah, it's like. It's like the wolf coming in the skin or the appearance of lamb. And you say, oh, little lamb. It's a ferocious wolf is hiding inside the skin of a lamb. That's how Satan always works. So, when Satan tempts Christians, he presents sin as things that are not so bad and sometimes even good. Let's say if Satan comes and tells us, I want to tell you something, this is terrible stuff, man. this is terrible stuff. 
ungalarum kudikyo as if satan comes and tell you the day you eat this drink this you shall definitely die this is terrible poison none of us will go but how would he come engena vuli approach cheyne ee saanam undallo ugra saanam and the salesman and the satan is probably the greatest salesman and he comes in the beginning he says that oh to eve he says did god say don't eat any of these fruit of any of these trees he thought that they were saying the food is not good what did eve say hey we can eat fruit of all the trees except the one that is in the middle ആ തോട്ടത്തിന് നടുക്ക് നിൽക്കുന്ന വൃക്ഷത്തിൻ്റെ അല്ലാതെ ബാക്കി എല്ലാം കഴിക്കാമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ഓക്കെ ന ഹൗ ഈസ് എ പ്രസൻറ്റിങ് ദിസ് ജീസ് ഗോഡ് ടോൾ ദം ദ ഡേ യു ഈറ്റ് യു ഷാൽ ഡൈ ദറ്റ്സ് വാണിങ് ദൈവത്തിന് വിളിച്ചോന്ന് വേസ് വരേണ്ട ആവശ്യമൊന്നും ദൈവം വിളിച്ചോണല്ലോ ഹി ടെൽസ് എക്സാക്ട്ലി വാട്ട്സ് ഗോയിൻ ടു ഹാപ്പൻ ബട്ട് സൈറ്റൻ വുഡ് നെവർ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഹിൽ കവർ ഇറ്റ് ഹിൽ ഹൈഡ് ഇറ്റ് എന്നു വെച്ചാൽ എന്താ പറയും ഓ ഇതോ ഇത് കഴിക്കുന്ന ഉടനെ നിങ്ങളെ കണ്ണം ചെയ്യും യു ഐസ് വിൽ ബി ഓപ്പൺ ഇതുവരെ കണ്ടിട്ടില്ലാത്ത കാര്യങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾ കാണാൻ പോവാം നന്മതിന്മകളെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള അറിവ് യു ഡോ നീഡ് എൻസൈക്ലോപീഡിയ യു ബിക്കം എൻ എൻസൈക്ലോപീഡിയ യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് റോങ് നോ വൺ നീഡ്സ് ടു ടെൽ യു യു ഡോണ്ട് ഈവൻ നീഡ് ഗോഡ് യു ക്യാൻ യു ക്യാൻ ജസ്റ്റ് റെഗുലേറ്റ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ് യു ക്യാൻ ഈവൻ ബി യുവർ ഓൺ ഗോഡ് വട്ട് ആൻ ഓഫറിറ്റി ഇത് കേട്ടപ്പോൾ ആർക്ക് സന്തോഷം തോന്നി ഹൗവായ്ക്ക് സന്തോഷം തോന്നി വെരി അപ്പീലിങ് വെരി അപ്പീലിങ് ഓഫർ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് കഴിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പം തേജസ് പോയി ലോസ് ദ ഗ്ലോറി ഗിൽഡ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് കമ്പനി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ബ്ലെയിമിങ് ഈച്ച് അതർ ഗോയിങ് ഹൈഡിങ് നൗ ആഡ് വേർ ആർ യു ഐ എം ഹിയർ ഐ എം നൈക്കഡ് so i can't come out who told you that you are naked just think about that he never tells you what's going to happen see you know this is how he lure people pishaj eppolu aalukale vashapadathana engane just present things so beautiful this is a way to go oru kochu kalam parnja chaavadi man you have no idea you want to be a millionaire അപ്പം നിങ്ങൾ വിചാരിക്കും ഞാൻ മില്ലിയനറാ അപ്പം പറ സ്പിഷാവിൻ നമ്മളോട് പറയും നീ മില്ലിയനറായി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇഷ്ടംപോലെ ചാരിറ്റി കൊടുക്കാമല്ലോ യു ക്യാൻ ഗീവ് ദി ചാരിറ്റി ആസ് മച്ച് ആസ് യു വാണ്ട് ടു യു ബിക്കം എ മില്ലിയനർ യു നോ പൂർ പീപ്പിൾ യു ക്യാൻ ഹെൽപ്പ് പൂർ പീപ്പിൾ ഇൻ യുവർ ഫാമിലി അപ്പം നമ്മൾ വിചാരിക്കും ഇപ്പോഴൊന്നും ഞാൻ കൊടുക്കുന്നില്ല നീ ലോട്ടറി അടിച്ചിട്ട് വേണം ആർക്കെങ്കിലും എന്തെങ്കിലും പ്രയോജനം ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് അപ്പം വിശാവിൻ എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ പറയാണ് It's a great idea. Just tell one little lie. That's all. Because the end looks good. Remember what I said? Charity. Helping people. We don't have to do it. 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 There's so much of money that's going to come. The end looks so attractive, beautiful. But how you go there? tell a small lie little sin after all adu velli kaaryam onnum illa you weigh jay nokkiyal the outcome looks really bigger that's one of the ways we legitimize sin so eve's conclusion it was good to eat the fruit of the kanman pangiyulla nanam rabipan kamyam it is good it is wonderful she bought the lie to the journey she really bought the lie it is very appealing to her there's a man by the name brooks he gives examples so many examples of this kind of temptations he lived in the 17th century um satan deceives us into thinking that pride is really only neatness and cleanliness like all religion think in pride nu parnja endo people think it's only neatness and 
cleanliness. Which I got to the Pride. There's so many examples. Just, we are just going to go through some of these examples this morning. Christians are tempted to covet. Namla, covetousness is like a bone. I don't know. I'm Moham. When covetousness is repackaged as thriftiness, mida vinayogam, thurto kartata, na kaparanya namlae package idhingo to undoiru. Pache, what is inside of it? Covetousness. Bad idhi varu man namlae covetousness aningai uti uti ki. Look how he's presenting. And in drunkenness. Madhivan is recast as nothing more than enjoying fellowship with friends. Okay? I know, recap package, I'm going to Just having good times with younger friends and younger kudi. Just having a good time. But I know the package is on the sun and do. Madhivan. This is how, this is how Satan does. Just having a good time. We are not hurting anybody. Just having a good time with friends. Just good. I think God is delighted. Karthanur is Santosha Namlu Snehidru Kadandiya. Anandi Kamal. See how, how Satan really works in people. Women are tempted to nag and manipulate their husbands. Okay? They are tempted to do that when they are deceived into regarding such behaviors as only encouraging their spouses to do what is right. Yeah. We can also know the village in the Parta and the Garden Barriana. Yend of us, the Chevy, and I know Chevy. Yeah, Chevy could rest till I'm a little bit out in the wonder room. And if a woman thinks that by doing this, I'm making my, I'm encouraging my spouse to what is right, I mean, you know, Parna or you pull in the Ethelu. Nagging, it's talking about nagging. You continue to nag, continue to talk, continue to just pester this guy. What did you, what, what's the lie that you got? Namla repackaged the Dandrikinder. Ingana Barnalo Ulu, Ipuli, Nalla the Iril Kadingla Gunatega Kudu Hatimaya Dosha. As I'm to win a Pratigang Kutu Prayana. See, this, this is how it works. So these are some people observe these things. I think there's some merit to some of these things. Children are tempted to dishonor their parents. So, makkala, amme apan maare, endiya, bahuwaani kya dirikyan, vadi onda, endiya angil. When they think they are only exercising their God-given rights as individuals, amerika la chira kooda dhruva. America, the people think that, oh, I got my freedom. So they challenge their parents. They dishonor their parents. But they don't realize they are dishonoring the parents. What are they thinking? I am exercising my right as an individual. I have freedom of speech. I'm just simply exercising my right. But what are you really doing? You are dishonoring your own parents. See, this is how it is repackaged to them. And they, they dishonor their parents. Okay. We are talking about a consequence. Okay. We, we allow ourselves to wallow in self-pity. Soya sahadavatil kadanya koreyan namla nivudikim. 
provided. When we rationalize it as suffering unfairly for Christ's sake. Kardavani Vendi, Nyanandi is on Rigiana, Vali a carrying of Saichon Rigia. Pashe, Kardavani is Saikin on the Nenakal, a self pity character on the Korena. Self pity, too much self pity is dangerous. It is not suffering for Christ. See the relationship. <clears throat> okay. Another area, listen. So what happens, let me just read the latter part, then you come to the first part here. When Satan persuades people that they are merely fulfilling normal sexual desires in a way that does not hurt anyone, believers are tempted to indulge in pornography. See, I'm just reading this last part, so, and then connecting the first one. Did you hear that? When Satan persuade them that they are merely fulfilling normal sexual desires in a way that does not hurt anybody, believers are tempted to indulge in pornography. Abam, when <clears throat> and you also need to understand something that I wanted to say to parents also here. This is exactly what secular people are telling, encouraging. This is exactly what is being encouraged today. school counselor they talk to the school counselor. They talk to their ungodly friends, anybody. This is exactly what they tell your children. It's okay. You're not hurting anybody. So they just simply believe that. Anybody is addressing this issue, we don't even talk about these things. And then teacher, You are who you think you are. Little girl thinks I am not a girl, I am a boy, then you are a boy. For biological ad in the Anna that's what they tell them. Just listen to that. Is this happening? Oh, you go to the Very good. This is every parent thing this way. But you don't understand what is going on in the head of a child. This is what is pumped into them. Every, everything here. Just think about this. I'm not talking about anything. Let's say the press secretary of our president. Who is she? You know her? She's an African-American woman. She is a lesbian. Who is the Labour Secretary or the Transportation Secretary? Just think about people in high places. Because we are desensitized. That's the intention. 
to desensitize people. Pandaka Namaka Jindigarako, numbered the highest Sadangal Idigan Alagra Ariparane. Your CEOs of corporations, your boss, your immediate boss, even a lavida education system, teachers. This is what they are pumping into their heads. Padan to Aisana the Ariola Pulare, Doctor Mare, Hormone Treatment to Urthan in a Pendum Pendini Anu Akaradanum, Avramel Sarjari Yeradanum, I know the Buddhiniano Illa because they don't, they are not old enough to make such decision. Yemna Paraya Adinu Indi, see our governor here in the Florida or the other here. They have made a law. Don't allow that until they are old enough. What a hue and cry in this land all over the world, including Disney. And we are seeing these things. Politically charging, this is happening in, in the life of our children, in our right under our nose. Right under our nose. Pratikan Elinoranga Womaka. Though we can't do anything, can we not start praying for this ungodliness, pray against it in the name of Jesus? Or do you want your child come to you one of these days and tell, Mom, I think I am a boy? Do you want to wait until that time? Make a hedge around them. In the seat for them. Pray loud and clear and forcefully. Hallelujah. Satan is doing everything possible. Everything possible. In order, carrying all the brand ambassadors that are going to be in the or transgenders. You know, the other day, Saul Bricken uh, uh, was telling here when they, we are having men's meeting. You know, Faithly, how old is Faithly now? She's nine years of age. So, okay, anyways, her toys all the during the COVID time. She had made up some videos. And you know, so children's videos and she put in the YouTube about how you can be good, how you can be nice to your parents. She put up several videos. You know, YouTube took that out. YouTube took it out and there was a note. This is inappropriate for children. Can you imagine? This is inappropriate for children. Now you go through YouTube and look at the videos and for the children, uh, for videos for children. What is the top big ones? Transgender. How do you become a transgender? That is very appropriate for children. Culture has become that today. Anything nice, anything in the name of Jesus, anything in the name of morality, anything according to the foundations of Judeo-Christian value is inappropriate. The other day I was listening to someone, you know, I, I watch this, I read some of these things. And I become angry. It says that the greatest enemy, one guy was telling, the greatest enemy of this nation, America, is white evangelical nationals, nationalists. Can you imagine that? They were there, like in the Sotram Barayana, Maria de Kapali, Poe, Kunjangalang, the Bono Rana, Christian, the Chikapata Rana, the American Rajatri, eight of the Hathrukum. Do you endorse that? Do you go with that? Is that, is the white, white evangelicals? In America, are the enemies of this nation? You should have read the president's letter declaring March 31st. That's transgender day. We have a whole month in June. It is called Pride Month. 
എന്തോ പ്രൈഡ് മന്തോ ഇറ്റ്സ് കോൾ ഗേ പ്രൈഡ് മന്ത് അറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഹോൾ മന്ത് ഓഫ് ജൂൺ യു ഹാവ് ടു യു ഹാവ് ടു ബി ദൈ ഡോ വോണ്ട് ലിസൺ ടു എനിബഡി എൽസ് യു ഹാവ് ടു വാട്ട് എവർ യുവർ പ്രൊഫഷൻ ഇസ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ലിസൺ ടു ഓ സെൻസിറ്റിവിറ്റി ട്രെയിനിങ് വളരെ ആവശ്യമാണ് because you are providing or tande pallu varikuna so you very important you should listen to it or whatever thing you provide so that, what are they are trying to do teaching you to, or making you forcefully making you to listen to ungodliness this country is compelling people to embrace ungodliness nammada response o paadi aalukku onnu ariyilla പാതി ആളുകൾ ഡോൺ കെയർ നമുക്കൊന്നും സംഭവിക്കുകയല്ല പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് നീ ടു ബി പ്രോയിങ് നമ്മുടെ ഈ പോക്കുണ്ടൊന്നും പണി നടക്കല്ല അതാ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് ഇറ്റ്സ് ടൈം ദറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു വെയ്ക്ക് അപ്പ് സബ ചർച്ച് റൈസ് അപ്പ് ഫ്രം യുവർ സ്ലംബർ റൈസ് അപ്പ് ഫ്രം ദ സ്ലംബർ ദ ടൈം ഈസ് വെരി ഷോർട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ടു പ്രേ വി ഹാവ് ടു പുറ ഹെഡ് യു റൺ ദം കർത്താവ് അവരുടെ ബുദ്ധിമണ്ഡലത്തെ സൂക്ഷിപ്പാൻ നമ്മൾ പ്രാർത്ഥി എല്ലാ ദിവസവും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണം അവരുടെ തലയൊക്കെ വെച്ച് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണം യു പ്ലേ പ്ലേസ് യുവർ ഹാൻഡ്സ് ഓൺ ദ ഹെഡ് ആൻഡ് പ്രേ ദ നൺ ഓഫ് ദീസ് തിങ്സ് വിൽ പെനട്രേറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ദ ഹെഡ് വെൻ യു ജസ്റ്റിഫൈ ഇംപേഷ്യൻസ് ഓക്കെ ഇംപേഷ്യൻസ് അത് നമ്മൾ നായികരിക്കുമ്പോൾ സംഭവിക്കുന്നത് ആസ് എ ഡിറ്റർമിനേഷൻ ടു ഗെറ്റ് തിങ്സ് അക്കംപ്ലീഷ്ഡ് സാവധാനതയില്ലപ്പ പക്ഷെ നായികരിച്ച് വരുമ്പോൾ എന്താ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് ഐ വോണ്ട് ഗെറ്റ് തിങ്സ് അക്കംപ്ലീഷ് പേഷ്യൻസ് ഇല്ല പക്ഷെ അതിൻ്റെ ഈ രീതി വരുമ്പോഴത്തേന് എന്താവും അറ്റ്സ് കോൾ ലെജിറ്റിമൈസിങ് ഇറ്റ് അപ്പം ഇംപേഷ്യൻസ് ഗ്ലോറിഫൈ ചെയ്യുക യു ഗ്ലോറിഫൈ ഇംപേഷ്യൻസ് ഇസ് ഗ്ലോറിഫൈ നാ വി ആർ ആർഗ്യുമെൻറ്റ് ഇറലവൻസ് ഇൻ വർഷിപ്പ് so the irreverence in worship aaradhanayil bahumana illaima you go to a lot of churches today what is happening there people standing there with shorts girls standing with shorts and they are going to worship here worship here worship here she will pick up kind of things that is going kind of the decorations that they have look so bad that's called irreverence it is excused as friendliness warmth and avoiding stuffiness stuffiness adey patti an excuse kodukana you have to be friendly to the people who are coming avante the thori tattoo onengil ninde gil randarnayilum venam identify inde venam That's how we lure people into church. Just as you are come. You are called verse that you are going to be. Being friendly with us. Either consumer friendly. You have all the clothes. You don't wear that clothes to your workplace. You don't wear that clothes for your interview. You don't wear that clothes to go to a marriage or any other nice function. But your torn jeans is very appropriate dress. to worship the almighty god bible calls it irreverence amen so you can be irreverent because you want to be friendly with the crowd you want to be consumer friendly no god is not pleased with that devathana akarathil oru santosham illa we attempted to wear immodest clothing listen immodest matter worship in area varne things irreverence in worship now immodest clothing when we recast the subject as fitting into culture for the sake of the gospel culture wide namak oru taadhatmyam undaganam engile suvishesham hrudayathilote keru സൂചനം പറയാൻ നീ വാ പൊളിച്ചിട്ട് വേണ്ടടാ ഫോർ യു ഡോണ്ട് ഇവൻ നോ വട്ട് ഈസ് ഗാസ്പൽ 
but you want to buy everything that is happening, everything that the Hollywood is bringing out, everything that is coming from the sports world, ungodly people, you just buy it, you just bring it on. Whether it's hairstyle, whether it's clothing, whatever it is. And where do we go? We want to be culturally competitive. Culturally current. These are all so many ways we legitimize sin. 